Today we're going to take a look at silver stag knives. We're going to look in particularly at the whitetail caper. Now I know immediately most of you guys are going, what? <laughs> it's not tactical. It's not self-defense. What is going on, Such? Well, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories. First off, um, I totaled my car about uh, two months ago after hitting three deer crossing the freeway. And thank goodness my car just happened to be a really durable car and I wasn't injured or anything, but it did tear my car up. And what was really even crazier is that just about a month earlier, my mother-in-law, who lives right near me, hit a deer herself and did some significant damage to her car. We have them all over the place. I counted 14 deer uh, the other night just in our backyard. And so I've decided I'm getting ready to start back deer hunting. It's been a number of years, and I've really wanted to anyway, but just out of self-defense, I think we're going to start deer hunting again. And because of that, I was talking to my buddy Frank at Handmade Knives, and we were just talking about my car situation, and he mentioned that he was carrying a line of these silver stag knives. And so uh, he said, I want you, I'm going to send you one let you take a look at it. And one of the big things that I love about this knife in particular is not only was it 2010 NRA Knife of the Year, this company, but everything is made right here in the USA. It's made from D2 steel, which is a tool steel. In fact, I've got a really nice bench made that has D2 steel in it, uh, which is what they use for dies and punches. So it's really These knives are very sharp right out of the box from the factory. has a lot of power behind it. has this really nice uh, bone antler handle. In fact, for this particular whitetail caper, they either use elk or moose antlers. The antlers are fitted very close to the blade itself. Uh, these are all naturally shed antlers. They're not poached. They're not harvested in any way except uh, found in the woods or from deer hunters that, uh, that sell their antlers. But as you can see, it is very finely attached right along the tang itself. So it's a really smooth finish. It's very well rounded as well, all along these sharp edges. One of the things though that's really cool about this knife uh, in this company is that you can send in your antlers and they will make they will take their knife stock and apply your antlers to it, which really makes it really cool as far as a trophy. Silver Stag Company is all made in the USA in Blaine, Washington, and everything is made to spec. They are one of the largest uh, knife producers for this type knife and everything is fitted and custom. So we're going to take a look at some of the different things about these knives. The Silver Stag and we're going to look particularly at the Whitetail Caper. Now I really like knives using high carbon tool steels and um, I, I don't really care for stainless that much but one of the, the trade-offs with using D2 is you need to be careful uh, when you are using it, just a little bit of a care, but this knife is made to last a lifetime. The Silver Stag Company makes 50 different knife design, different blade designs. And uh, you can actually go to their website. It's a pretty cool website. It shows the process which it's made and uh, really nice. But first thing I want to talk about, though, of course, is the specs of this. It weighs 4.2 ounces, and the blade is 3 and 3 quarter inches. Overall, it's 6 and 3 quarter very nice, very light knife. Uh, great for the field. It does have the full tang and as you can see the tang itself coming all the way back and around. So in case you have a breakage with your scales in the field you can actually wrap this and still be able to use the knife. That's one of the dangers of having a, a little small short tang or a real thin tang is you, you're gonna have to if you're in the field and you have your your grips that actually break uh, you, you're going to have a hard time being able to utilize that blade unless you have a full tang. Full nice three-quarter ground and uh, even has a place here for your finger. Has a really balanced feel to it. Really nice in the hand. Um, my hands are about medium size. If you have really large hands, uh, I still think you're going to be able to get a hold of this pretty easily, but uh, I really like the shape and the feel. Now the spine itself, really nice and heavy. Uh, you could even use this for some batoning as far as breaking up your firewood. Not that I necessarily, I'd probably use something a little different to keep that edge sharp for skinning uh, If when you're in the field. And one of the things I do want to say is 
when you take a deer down, you definitely need to go ahead and field dress that deer immediately. Uh, don't wait and let the blood and the urine back up and, and make a real mess out of your, what your meat and taint that meat. So it's really good to have a good sharp knife on hand to be able to take care of that. The D2 steel, the, the hardness on this, been heat treated to about 60 Rockwell hardness. Great for working, and that's really what this blade is for. It is a working knife, and I'm not a big collector. I like whatever I have, I like to be able to use it, and I really plan to put this to the test this fall. One of the things, too, these are not mass produced, and uh, no two knives are the same. Every one has it a fitted, the antlers are fitted to the knife. This is what they call the slab side design, which I like it a little bit better. Uh, you can get it with the full antler, and um, but I, I like just the, the open design here where I can really get a smaller grip, more of a traditional feel to this knife. Here, Silver Stag D2 Made USA. The sheath itself is a really fine sheath, very high quality, very nice. Nylon stitching all the way around just smells like leather and it also has a place here you can uh, you can run this thong right through the leather to be able to have something to hold the knife in while you're out in the field. They do have a lifetime warranty on these and one of the things I thought was pretty cool is that once you use this for a while and you get scratches or you have some damage you can actually send this back to Silver Stag and they'll refurbish it and clean it up for you and repair it at no charge. Uh, you know, you just pay for the shipping to and from, and that's it. So uh, just an excellent service. And uh, again, too, you can also get laser engraving on your knife to, to personalize your knife for you. Now, the Whitetail Caper retails for $98 on the Silver Stag website. Uh, you can go to Knives by Hand, and my buddy Frank Gonzalez, he has it listed for $76.50. And if you mention Such, between now and Father's Day, He'll give you an additional discount. And so um, just check it out. I think you'll find, and plus, Knives by Hand, Frank is just an incredible knife maker in itself. And he also, that's really where I've gotten a lot of my cookery designs from. And we've become really good friends uh, over the past couple of years. And I'm going to tell you, uh, just the guy knows knives and he carries only field expedient, high quality knives. Whether he makes them or some that he carries right there on it. When he even mentioned that the Silver Stag was offered on his website, I was definitely interested because, like I said, I was already looking for one because, man, I'm going to tell you what, the deer population around here is over the top. And I want to encourage many of you to get out. I know that the deer hunting um, has dropped in popularity over the past few years. And to be honest with you, we're being invaded. And what's going to happen sooner or later is these deer are going to become diseased and they're going to be they're going to just die off. So uh, why not harvest that meat and be able to use it and feed families and uh, also to keep your cars <laughs> safe while you're out on the road. So I want to say thanks to Frank at Handmade Knives, Silver Stag Knives, great company. And uh, check them out at KnivesByHand.com. I'll have all the information below for you to check it out. And again, before between now and Father's Day, you know, just ask and Frank will give you a discount as well as the additional discount that's already placed on these knives. And uh, I think you will not be disappointed. In fact, I'm going to do some more reviews on this knife coming up the closer we get to the fall. But um, I can already tell this is an exceptional quality knife made right here in the USA. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Looks like the FBI might need some knives for skinning. Deer wander into FBI shooting range. <laughs>